you're looking for something or you're watching a video, it's not always that the videos that you're watching were released this week, right? And so that's the nice thing about the recommendation system or something that's like a lot of what we would say about looking at how the algorithm works, why you can get away with posting when you have the content and it's posted for some people to see. But once you understand how the algorithm works, you also understand that even if you do post a short movie already, or maybe you post a week or a couple of weeks old, the algorithm can still surface what you've already created. So we'll get into all those details a little bit later today. And then your second question is about monetization. Okay, so shorts are monetized as are shorts, and to your point, you're saying that you're not earning as much from shorts if I'm not mistaken, or at least not yet. Uh, so you'll find the main conversation today with the algorithm is going to focus on the long form video. The algorithm works with long form video as well as with shorts, and so you'll find that because the audience, you can actually put this in your algorithm. Sometimes the audience that's watching your long form is different to the audience that's watching your shorts. And so while you might not be earning as much from the shorts viewership, what we are doing is reaching a lot more people that can automatically link to your long form video where we do start making the big money, right? And all of that is also, I guess, in the features is that you can make a short now. Let me know if you already know this. You can make a short, you can link it to a long form video so that when I'm watching the short, I click one button and I'm directed immediately to the, so you do know. And so that's where now you've earned the revenue from shorts, click on it, look at your long form video, and now you can earn from your regular ads, from your liberal ads, any other ads that you've placed in the long form video. So I hope that kind of answers the question when it comes to strategically dealing with that type of ad. So there's actually uh, something to write home about now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, so when we have it back, let's have a phone call. Thank you so much. My name is Tyler. Amazing. Well done. Um, follow-up question for you, sir. 
do you store all your shorts in one go, in one backpack content, or do you store them as you go, as you see opportunities, as things unfold, or is it all in one sitting in one go? Yes, um, so for instance, if I'm making a film, um, I will try to create um, um, uh, shorts for like, more like a, 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 a teaser. Yes. A teaser. So I make sure that I create teasers as it goes. Mm. So I choose the teaser as it goes. So that as it goes, as it goes. So you know, I can't draw, I can't a teaser setting and getting the picture after doing the film. But in the main film, I should just do that and make people watch the end film. Exactly. Distribution strategy that we were talking about, like the different dynamics right now with new film distributors as well as it relates to long form. I'm interested to find out. Obviously, we're filmmakers in this room. I say we as an honorary member. I can't say anything. Mm -hmm. There are many deep questions about that. But what is your distribution strategy? So you're obviously you're making films. Do we have studios? Do we have editors that go with that? How are you thinking about this when you're when you're hiring? And is it different for everyone, or do you have it on like? Is there anyone that's looking to share how they can't do the distribution? So, with this movie, we just talked about uh, camera, camera movie, like where the movie will be released, which are the communities, the media, the stage, teaser, which are short or the two stage movies, because teaser is not immediate, two days, which can also pass. The movie which is a uh, build up to the real movie, which is good as well. So, talking about other social media is very holistic. Okay, I've got nothing to say. You overstepped. <laughs> <laughs> Great distribution strategy. You're thinking about creating your uh, entry, right? We've spoken about having the teaser, having the images. You're thinking about how do you build interest before you actually launch the long form video? You're even picking out little bits and pieces from the actual movie to bring that in. So what is distribution when I'm planning my distribution strategy? 
for you to, if you think random, if you hear the algorithm, you know, where am I going? How can I plan it? So the structure really and anything else you can tell us in terms of um, uh, making money from this content, especially short, letting it summarize in one, it's the short form, the long form, the short form, my 10 minutes short film regarded as a long form by BC. And what is that degrees and structure that I can plan uh, to it? Now that we're in the content phase of some really big deal, we do think that we're moving action, including action, to some um, to endorse development to the future. By the way, one more thing I love about YouTube is the pain. I think there is much too much is the pain, the fact that you're a person on a desktop, you're on that page, and there are suggestions. It doesn't work with every other platform like that. And you can take YouTube with you when you're doing other things around your mobile, around your desktop, and all that stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes day one, day two, and day three. <laughs> <laughs>